China because they were deflated without question after falling uh, to Poland. Uh, but really, I, I think I said it at the time, it was one of the better overall performances that I've ever seen a Chinese national team play. They played with a lot of grit, a lot of heart, and uh, it was hard to believe, really, they walked out of this arena without a win. Yeah, it was a, a, a great game by, by so, in so many ways. For one, they shot the ball quite well from three early on. They got contributions from different guys. Obviously, one of their super the stars, Island, Go Ailun, was in foul trouble. They overcame that with some good contributions from the backup guards. And they were in a pole position to come out with a victory. And then some mistakes down the stretch really proved costly. We will see if guys like Zhou Chi can bounce back uh, after a couple tough turnovers. You know, had that offensive foul. And obviously, you know, the... <laughs> The bad pass that will be talked about for many, many years to come, if indeed they do not advance. Lee Nan, the former national team player himself, the coach of China. So Cote d'Ivoire falling earlier today to 0-3 in that 80-63 defeat to Poland. Actually, Cote d'Ivoire played quite well for most of that game. Uh, they just kind of faded in the fourth quarter, and then you see tonight uh, we've got this game between Venezuela and China. So here are the standings coming into this game. And you can see China number two, Venezuela at number three. Uh, the winner doesn't take all, but the winner takes the all-important uh, place to Foshan to play in the second round and keep their quarterfinal hopes alive. So now we are going to have a pause in the commentary and listen to the national anthems for Venezuela and China. Please remain standing for the national anthem of People's Republic of China. Well, as you can hear, the Wukasan is humming, and the team's uh, about three and a half minutes away from tipping it off. And we'll get a look at the referees for tonight's game. So Yenner Yilmaz there in the middle, Boris Krejci on the right. And from the United States, uh, Matthew Albert Myers on the left. Hello, guys. And uh, also, we'll get a look at the uh, starting fives and uh, key players and also the rosters. And I know that uh, this is the part of the, the broadcast that you like the most, so I'm going to hand it over to you, Josh. Well, China, who uh, is going to be technically the road team, it looks like, in this one, in the red. Starting five, Guo Ailun and Zhao Jiwei in the backcourt. The 
kind of do-it-all guy, Zhao Chochuan, small forward. Zhu Qi, can he bounce back alongside Yi Jianlian in the front court? And obviously they're gonna get a number of contributions off the bench, but they need this man right here to step up to the elite level that he's at. I say at least 20 shots. That's what, how aggressive he needs to be. He's already averaging 21 and a half points and eight rebounds a game, but he can still do more, I assure you. If he can deliver tonight on this stage, he will truly be a Chinese hero. Meanwhile, on the other end, Venezuela, they come in with one win and one loss, losing to Poland and taking care of business against Cote d'Ivoire. Thanks in part to that man right there, Hesser Gient, who uh, will be the starting point guard. And he's joined alongside Dwight Lewis and Jose Vargas on the wings. Big man Miguel Ruiz, who had a nice 10.8 rebound game the other night. And then Nestor Colmenares, more of a quiet game by his standards, but you can expect him to do everything he can to help this team advance. And I did mention Esther Guillent. What a show he put on the other night. 28 points, knocked down five three-pointers, but also had seven assists. And you can see his stats over the two games, not only knocking down the three ball, but also able to set up his team. He's been a floor general, and he does it without any change of expression on his face. Absolutely lethal so far the first couple of games. Yeah, he really is uh, quite, quite a player. You're right, you don't know if he's winning, losing, enjoying the greatest moment of his life. He just keeps that same expression, doesn't he? I mean, usually when players knock down three to four near half-court shots, they're going to get excited about it. Not Mr. Guillas. Fernando Duro, the coach, who hails from uh, Argentina. Quite a few Argentinian coaches uh, in this FIBA Basketball World Cup. Dodo replaced uh, in Argentina, in fact, or succeeded in Che Garcia, but he's the head coach of uh, Venezuela now. Che Garcia is now the head coach of the Dominican Republic, who have already punched their ticket to the second round. And for China, Li Nan there with the, uh, what do you call that board? Wow, that's actually, I just call it my, uh, just the coach's board. Well, Li Nan, great player in his day. And uh, you go back through the FIBA archives and you can find his name playing for those Chinese national teams. For example, 2004, uh, 2008, when they played here and hosted the Olympics. He was their second leading scorer in uh, 2004. That great team that had Yao and Yi even and made it and they upset Serbia Montenegro and uh, made it to the quarterfinals. And uh, I really like his demeanor. I mean, I, I think he's been a, uh, a nice addition or maybe a nice appointment. Sure, I mean, and even in the, the press conference after a tough loss, obviously the Chinese media, it's not necessarily the kind of place where they were ready to kind of, you know, bounce on him and attack him. There were some questions about the execution down the stretch. You know, so many turnovers, lapses of judgment. Yeah. You know, he didn't panic. He just said, listen, we're very young. We're pretty much the youngest team in this tournament. We have to go through these growing pains. And obviously, you want to accelerate that process a little bit when you're hosting this, this kind of, you know, World Cup. You're only going to get one chance in a lifetime, most likely. But he understands that it's, it's part, of the, part of the big picture. You know what I mean? Well, these teams... A lot of these players have already squared off before, as we spoke about three years ago at the Rio Olympics. And Venezuela won that one. Uh, but a lot of these Chinese players are now three years older. And I, I would suggest better. They're going to have the home crowd behind them. Fascinating clash tonight, folks. China and Venezuela. Well, good evening. Welcome to Beijing. This is the Wukasan Arena, and this is China against Venezuela. China winning the opening tip in the dark uniforms and attacking the basket to the right. Zhao Ji Wei gets it over to Guo, who uh, really fouled out the other night. A couple of tough calls, I thought. And he comes right out and misses a, a jumper, but a long rebound goes to Yi. And now Guo takes it and goes in with the left hand and misses. But Zhou Qi has it. Now Zai's there, Zai Chao Kwan, and puts it up and in. What was that, three bites of the cherry? Well, good start for China. Unable to knock down the first couple of shots, but they stay active around the glass. You see here the missed layup. 
Zhou Qi using his length to good use. And this man is always in the right place at the right time. Jai. And uh, you don't necessarily feel the impact throughout the game. You look, look at the box score. He's in double figures, close to 10 rebounds, a couple of steals. There's no doubt about it. I mean, he's in the starting lineup for a reason. And he'll put his nose where it's not wanted. So China off to a good start. 3-0 lead. Hesler Guillen. Jiwei is out. Zhao Jiwei. Tough assignment for him. Guillen gets it over to Nestor Colmenares. Off the back of the iron. Yeah, really curious to see how Guo bounces back after a tough night. Five fouls, including his last two in the final moments. He's been aggressive so far offensively. This time only one shot and out. And you hear the boos raining down. And Captain Jose Vargas whip, whips the pass to Lewis. Chalk clock down to seven. Heisler Guillet. Uh-oh. Not much time left. He's going to have to put it up. He does. And... Yi goes up for the board. Venezuela, the quick hands, get it back. Hesler again misses again. Ruiz went for the putback, but was denied with Zhou Chi in there. It's important. China looks for Yi early here. He's had a couple of slow starts. Ji Wei, Wei misses. Zhou Qi keeps it alive, but Miguel Ruiz holds on. Jose Vargas, Ruiz, who's uh, proved his rebounding medal already in this competition. Had a great day against Poland, didn't he? Yeah, 10 points, 8 rebounds in his last game against Cote d'Ivoire as well. And nice turn and shot from Dwight Lewis. Played his... We were looking into him, played his college basketball for the USC Trojans. Hails from uh, the state of Louisiana, but with Venezuelan connections. Jai Chao Chuan over to Yi. Well, you want Yi to take some shots? I don't think he's taken one yet, has he? No, and shot clock winding down again. Zhao Ji Wei has to put it up, and he's not going to get it off in time. Good defense by Venezuela. And again, China has a number of guards who are very quick, very great defenders, but not necessarily looking for their shot. They need to be aggressive. If you have Venezuela on a scouting report, probably wants those guys to be taking the shots as often as possible. And you see there, Zhai Jiwei just passing up on the open look, leading to the shot clock violation. Lewis. With Guo on his back, and he goes in and scores with a reverse layup to Lewis, who had the great first game, and then went quiet. Yes, uh, two days ago, has uh, scored Venezuela's four points. I thought he looked tired two days ago. He did come off that sprained ankle from the first game. Obviously, probably a little bit fresher on it. Got some treatment. Well, Ruiz really playing D on Yi, and looking to get the rebound. Boy, what a high-energy player he is. Coleman Harris. Here's Lewis again. He's open. Why not? He says, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to make it. Six points for Dwight Lewis. So Dwight Lewis clearly feels he has an advantage on his matchup. He's got a couple inches as well on Jai. And now knocking it away was Lewis. Took it right away from Zhou Chi. And then he attacks the basket. And Zhou Chi hustles down and gets the rebound. Whoa. And ball goes out of bounds. So it'll be China ball. Guo looking for a foul. And Guo, Guo was so visibly upset after fouling out the last game. You see there, Vargas getting most of the ball. Just a hard fall. Maybe a little bit of contact from behind with Ruiz. Zhao Jiwei 
Oh, look at that. Rebound and outlet pass all in the same motion. Heisler again. Three is good. And that forces Lee Nan to call timeout. Venezuela on a 9-0 run. And alarm bells ringing already in Beijing. Well, it's so important as a road team to silence the crowd as soon as possible. And they've done just that. Let's listen in. Well, clearly, uh, there's for China, you know, they can't afford to fall behind Venezuela. No, and Dwight Lewis understands that he can be very aggressive. He's got a couple inches on all the guards from China. And he's in attack mode early here. He's had a factor in all nine points for Venezuela. Venezuela are tough, physical, athletic, and, and seem to kind of play with a certain amount of anger. And that is what China has to match tonight. Bounce pass. Back to Wang, and he's fouled by Miguel Ruiz. So good passing creates the opportunity for Wang, who really had a good game against Poland. Yeah, he really did, and comes in averaging five and a half rebounds to go. It is almost nine points. You see there the nice feed. The pump fake, and Ruiz commits the foul. And we've seen, obviously, Wang came in for Yi. So Yi heads to the bench early. Tough start for him. Perhaps trying to avoid any foul trouble as well, as both Yi and Guo were in tough foul predicaments in that first half. Yeah, Yi picked Poland. up three, didn't he? He had to go to the bench early. I, th I just don't even think that China realized that Guo had picked up his fourth foul, because they just left him out there. Yeah, and then the very early next possession, the committed another one, and that was it. Well, Zhao Rui, number one, was really good in that first game for the intensity that he brought to China. He's in the game now. Lewis goes baseline, puts it up again. Look at Ruiz challenging, and then Colmenares throws it off of, he thought it was off Zhao Ji Wei. And Myers says the ball went off China, but now Yomas had a better angle. Uh, the referee and comes and they change the call. Oh, it's good to see the referees working together to get the call right. Well, it's good if you're a Venezuelan fan, that's for sure. I'm not sure about these Chinese fans would agree with you. But that was that was pretty clear, wasn't it? Here's Lewis. Oh, Zai going for the steal. Now Vargas gets it down low. Only red shirts under for the, the rebound. They finally come up with it. So what do you make of Li Nan putting Guo and Yi on the bench early here? Well, I say it's a message that they're not getting the job done. Zhao Rui. And the ball goes back to Venezuela. So the three-pointers yet to fall for China. They start off 0 of 5 from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, this man coming in here, Zamora, knocked down four threes against Cote d'Ivoire after a tough game against Poland. So we'll see if his hot streak continues. Bring the ball up against Zhao Ji Wei.
Lewis from the left is good. And he tells everybody it was a three. Nine points in the first quarter already. The first six minutes, in fact, for Lewis. That flaming hot start for Dwight Lewis. Go Chi gets it right back. That's much better. This crowd trying to transmit some positive vibes to Joe, who uh, had a really tough night against Poland. Yeah, when he came out here for warm-ups, the crowd gave him a very heartfelt, warm reception. Trying to boost his confidence, and that three-pointer will do wonders for that. Bominaris misses, and now Zhao Rui. Over to Zhai. Much better. And that's going to get a substitute off the bench. Yeah, the secondary transition push there as the defense lost sight of Jai. Michael Carrera is going to come into the game. Heisler Kian. Shot clock about to expire. Oh, boy. He is just shooting it so well. Yeah, the he, technique is there, the confidence, of course. He seems to find the shot easier to make when there's hardly any time left on the shot clock. Have yeah, he'll that? dribble for a while, kind of in circles almost. Learn a defense to sleep. Wang. And boy, Ruiz, the more you watch him, the more you appreciate how he does Yeoman's work down low. Four Heisler. rebounds already. Heisler Gien. But you know, he's undersized but it seems like he doesn't give anything away. Now Zamora steps out of bounds. Nope, a block is called on Joe Chi. You see here, Joe Chi trying to slide his feet. Making some contact with Zamora. Here's Michael Carrera. Now here's another player who plays bigger then he looks, number 23, and Colmenar is getting some words from one of the Vargases. Jose, El Capitan. Shot clock about to expire, this is where he likes it. Puts it up from three, rims out. And it's just keeping the ball alive. I think it was Gratterall there that got a hand on it. Lewis, shot clock again, about to expire. Heisler again has to put it up, and he does again. I'll tell you what, he's remarkable, folks. He really is. Yeah, right now, he and Dwight Lewis are shooting Venezuela into a good position. I was thinking whether or not he might be the MVP here in this Group A. Obviously, Poland has all three wins, and Mateusz Panetka has something to say about that. But Guillen has been that good. Chochi. Good defense from Carrera. Giving up six inches. Doesn't matter. Plays so much bigger. As Lurkian, back to Carrera. Mid-range, knocks it in. And it's just going to be a very nervous ride tonight uh, for Chinese fans. I think it's 18 to 10. Yep, there it is. First two for Carrera. And China, 3 of 12 from the field thus far. Unable to get anything easy. Venezuela's defense, incredibly active. Wow, you way misses. And we know that first win for China over Cote d'Ivoire, everything was inside the paint. And they've been unable to get there against this relatively small Venezuelan team, but basket's hard to come by. Bang Troll kind of come in as well as Yi on the next dead ball. And Jai called for a foul on the penetration. Do you not get the feeling looking at Venezuela? And also, this kind of speaks to uh, one of your comments about China having a young team. Do you not get the feeling watching this Venezuela team that they've been in tough games like this? You just feel like they know how to take care of business, right? And uh, 
it's not as much as a roller coaster ride for them, yeah. possession to possession, whereas China it feels like every possession is kind of the last second of the game almost. Pedro Churio also in now for Venezuela. Zamora. Look at him crashing the boards, Graterol and Carrera. And just could not get quite enough space to put up an attempt. But the uh, early exchanges have been won in this prize fight by Venezuela. They lead it 18 to 10 over host China. Well, we already alluded to Venezuela's defense making things tough for China. You see there just three of 13 from the field so far. The free throw is kind of the only reason China has been able to keep it a single digit game. And also great rebounding for Venezuela. 14 rebounds on, uh, on those missed shots, including eight, sorry, eight, eight defensive rebounds on 10 missed shots. So they're, they've been aggressive on the glass. So they got some good ball movement. Able to post up the smaller get their guards against China's smaller guys. Pretty much a dream start if, if you're a Venezuelan fan. I mean, are there obvious uh, alterations that you can make in the huddle for China? Well, again, I'm looking at Yi and I'm looking at Guo. They got to carry us. This is the kind of game where stars have to step up. China's young guys don't seem quite willing to step up and knock down shots. Of course, Zhou Qi hits one there, but aside from that, it's been a lot of hesitation on open looks, passing up the easy shots. Obviously, they're not able to knock down the outside shot just yet. Of course, plenty of time for China to bounce back, but 10 first quarter points in this was essentially an elimination game. Won't cut it. Hey, how about the app? Have you got it? I do. I mean, I watched all my highlights. You saw Giannis last night. They went down to Brazil. Uh, caught that on there. USA and their nail biter against Turkey, of course. That and the press conference after was great. Up to the minute stats. So put it, cut that. put it in your smartphone. It's a great piece of technology with a lot of information. Or go to FIBA.basketball and click on the World Cup. Remember the top 23 teams we'll talk more about it here we'll kind of remain in olympic contention of course we'll be seven that qualified directly for the olympics another offensive rebound that's seven already as again too much room well he loves it with the shot clock winding down but not that time and look at carrera couldn't quite get it ball goes over well, Venezuela's getting to all the loose balls first, all those 50-50 balls. And if you're China, if you're a Chinese coach, you just can't accept that. This is a, like you said, do it all, kind of leave it all on the floor kind of game. And Venezuela's made those plays so far. Craig Vargas comes in. Guillet takes a seat. Dwight Lewis also out. So lots of other options now for Venezuela. Boris Krejic, the referee from Slovenia, telling the guys to calm down a little bit. I'll tell you what, in many respects, this World Cup has been a World Cup for the Americas. I mean, they are the team, I think with the exception of Canada, the Americas really distinguished themselves in this first round. You know, Brazil, the likes of the Argentina, Dominican Republic. Right. Puerto Rico getting a win today against Tunisia yeah. to advance. Here's Yi. And really fading away. Not ideal. Well, we're not seeing the same kind of intensity from this Chinese squad as we saw against Poland. Not yet. Zamora, it's online. It's good. He rattles in a three. And it just seems to be going from bad to worse for China. And Venezuela supremely confident right now. And this crowd is stunned so far, Jeff. Just look at the play of Zamora. I mean, he is focused. Now the pass to Wang. Fang Shuo. And that, that is Yi. 
battling with three Venezuelans for the basketball and fortunately gets the foul called on Carrera. Look at this. Once again, Carrera playing so big, listed as only 6'5", a meter 96, yet also a power forward. See the zone look defensively on the base and out of bounds. Fang! That's where he was nailing him in practice, but he misses that. One of nine from three. Vargas into Carrera. Oh, beautiful pass! I'll tell you, they know what they want, and they go out and they get it. Venezuela in complete command right now, 23 to 10. China in real trouble. Well, China yet to knock down a field goal for several minutes. As Guo puts his head down and gets to the basket. And they need him to be ultra aggressive at this point just to put a stop to this bleeding. This was, look at this, bullet pass. Yeah, that's a point guard right there, Jeff. Bench loving it. Well, you know, Che Garcia, as you see Guo at the line, led Venezuela to so many uh, great moments. That 2015 FIBA America Cup title in Mexico City when they qualified for the Olympics with that incredible win over Canada. Played at the Olympics. But I tell you what, they look like they know what they want to do under Fernando Duro. I mean, well, they've been together they've, for a while. Obviously, six of these guys play for the same club in Venezuela, Guaros de Lara. So the, the chemistry is there. China finally gets a point on the board in this second quarter. Well, China needs to knuckle down on defense here. Well, they brought in Sun Minghui, who uh, didn't feature in the first game, but had a pivotal role down the stretch. In the game against Poland. Yep, one of the heroes. Sagging. They still get the ball inside to Carrera. Jump ball. Jump ball. And good job that time forcing the jump. And the possession jump arrow takes it ball. to China. And you hear these fans just ready to applaud and cheer for anything. And in this case, it's the jump ball going back the other way. There is Stefan Marbury. Sitting right to our right. A lot of these uh, Venezuelans played college basketball. Oh, Guo went down. And they've called a foul. He's trying to get a quick spin. Pedro Chorio called for the foul. And we'll see. Looks like he just lost. Oh, oh he, tri he got tripped up got on tripped. Chorio. Yep. Good call by the ref. The thing I love about Guo is, you know, a lot of guards go side to side, cross things over, but Guo likes to play downhill. Yeah, he attacks the basket. I agree. Here he is again. Hangs in the air. But look at Carrera. Again, it's like he's a, a rebounding uh, power forward in there. Vargas in the lane, the ball hit way up in the air. Sun goes up. Loose ball again, Jeff, in the hands of Venezuela. Vargas, good! Well, it seems like the entire team gaining confidence minute by minute here. Six different player to score for Venezuela. Wine, Zalen. Great help side defense. Wow, Chorio was there. Yi gets it back. He's got to put it up. And Venezuela's D is just suffocating. Look at the bullet pass again to Zamora. Now Sun. China in real trouble here, down 14. Oh, 
Yee for three. Got it. That couldn't have come at a better time. Well, his first points of the night. A welcome sight for these fans and his teammates. They're going to look to him. We see now China in a zone. They need to locate Zamora and Churio. Two shooters on the floor. Vargas rattled out. Here's Guo again. Zhao Rui open, so he takes it. And Venezuela just continually have three or four guys under the glass to clean up the boards. Out rebounding China 12, uh, 21 to 11 right now. That's remarkable. Oh boy, intercepted by Sun. He goes in and somehow gets it to go. Boy. Big time play from Sun Ming Hui. Some people were wondering. He was a bit of an unexpected contributor in the last game. And he said he's always ready to step up for the national team. Let's see if that can give him some momentum. They get it back to single digits. See there, Yi knocking down the three. Part of a 5-0 run here in the last minute or so. Sun Ming Hui, a strong finish. I tell you, I mean, we saw Sun in warm-ups, and he can get up, but we've also seen Carrera who has got those long arms and a great leaper. And, Sun again and now, with the over and back. The activity defensively, that's why he's out there. You mention him in warm-ups. Anytime someone uh, who stands about 6'2", a meter 87, is throwing down windmills, fans love him. And especially if he can deliver in the game, that's a much bigger deal. Really, for the first time in the first half, you feel like China starting to uh, cause some problems for Venezuela. Here's Guo. Oh, charged right into Vargas. So you like him, you like the downhill part of his game, but you still have to be under control. Yeah, exactly. He's thrown the spin move a couple times, and you can see the defense collapsing into the middle of the paint there. Giving him nowhere to go. And that's why coaches teach the jump stop. So you can stay under control. Now Hester Guillen back into the game. Which just spells trouble for China. But it's Zhao Jiwei in the backcourt along with Guo. China needing stops. So really it's a three-guard lineup for China. Interesting. Colmenares back in, gets it to Lewis. Lewis open, gets it to go. The friendly bounce for Dwight Lewis, who continues his hot shooting. He's now in double figures already with 11. Oh. They had the backdoor cut. Sun. I think it might have hit the rim. Yeah. 
Hesler. Kent over to Lewis. Shot clock winding down. And the travel. Oh, three seconds. So Colmenares. All right, Zhou Chi back into the game. Can he get going? He knocked down the one three-pointer. Only two shots so far. Does have four rebounds. Wang goes back to the bench. Look for Yi on the block. Ruiz battling. They force him to get rid of it. They swing it. Shot clock about to expire. Zhao Rui puts up a tough shot. Oh, wow. Four Venezuelan jerseys inside the paint. And Zhou Chi able to draw the foul going for the offensive rebound. So the foul called on Colmenares. Take another look here. That's a very tough call. Dudo doesn't believe it. Some places that's called the box out. Jochi's uh, struggles continue as he misses a free throw. In part, you know, he was at the Olympics in 2016. Just the pressure, the expectations on him. Obviously, the likes of Yao Ming, who's the CBA president now and the first official uh, global ambassador for this FIBA Basketball World Cup, just raised the bar, really. China just desperate for other players to follow in his footsteps. And he's one of them. Zamora. Oh, quick pass to Coleman. And there's Zochi. Protecting the rim. Zhao Rui. Now Yi has it knocked out of his hands by Miguel Ruiz. Sun open. Same spot as the other night when he hit a big three to tie it, but he misses. Now Zamora, and both teams missing threes, but the ball goes out of bounds off China. It'll be Venezuela possession. See the block here by Zhou Chi. He does have very quick reactions defensively. Obviously, the 7-6 wingspan helps a bit as well. And here comes fan favorite, Abu Salam who I think can help this team. Again, he was their leading scorer in the World Cup qualifiers, played in eight games. Hasn't had much of a chance here. But offensively, they need somebody to step up. Could it be Abdul Salam? Oh, has Pominari's had it knocked out of his hands by Zhao Jiwei, number 24. Good defense by Zhao. And we should mention China's defense much better this quarter. Venezuela managing just nine points, but then the offense. Some miscommunication there is Abdul Salam wanted to feed Yi for the high low to Zhou Chi. Coleman Aris also very quiet. Hasn't scored yet in 11 minutes. Luis Bethelme in the game now, number 11. The zone has caused issues. Caused issues. Lewis. Abdul Salam with a rebound. Double team comes. Extra pass. G Wei. Go! Big time shot. Zai G Wei. But again, the ball went inside out. They kicked it, rotated it to the open man. Better offense, better look, better result. Hesler Giant. Oh, Silences man. the crowd. Goodness me. Uh, already 10 points for Giant. He has been incredible, Jeff. 
Fauci way again. Gets it to go. Back to back threes. But now Hesler again has it. And Zhao Jiwei get another steal. Gian gets it to Vargas. Oh, he hits a three. The captain right at the first half buzzer. That is a huge shot from Jose Vargas. Pushes the lead back out to 10. 33-23, Venezuela on top of China at halftime. Well, the shooting has picked up a little bit here, but Venezuela yet to go to the free throw line, but they've knocked down five three-pointers. They're also shooting 42% and keeping China at 26% shooting. You mentioned the rebounding differential plus 11 right now for Venezuela. So China, who do they turn to? Yi yet to really make an impact here so far. The three points for him. They do have those six points from Zhao Jiwei. Unexpected contributions. Meanwhile, the backcourt for Venezuela and Lewis and Guillen combining for 21 points, which just the two of them alone almost outscoring the entire Chinese team. You know what this confirms to me is how good Poland are, that they were able to beat this Venezuela team. I mean, it just kind of further vindicates their first-round performance. But, um, you know, the question does remain, can Venezuela continue to shoot like this? And... You know, they, they've been getting a lot of offensive rebounds, which has helped their calls. Yeah, and if you're China, given the height advantage you have around the basket, to give up 10 offensive rebounds in the first half of a game of this magnitude, and then subsequently a lot of easy buckets as well. Venezuela with the advantage, 10 to 6 points in the paint. They also have a 9 to 4 advantage on points off the bench when guys like Wendy, Greta were all have come in and, you know, any contributions from those guys, very helpful. Of course, Gregory Vargas has stepped up. Yeah, everybody's playing well. <laughs> yeah, with, with the exception, maybe Coleman Norris isn't playing at the high level that we saw him play. Uh, but Gant is just a model of consistency in this tournament. I and mean, he's, uh, it's like he thrives on that, that letting the ball loose right at the last second of the uh, shot clock. Well, when you're, uh, when you're a kid playing in your backyard in the playground, you do the countdown, right? Four, three, two, and you just let it fly. It's the funnest way to play. When you're a point guard with the ball in your hands down the stretch of a possession, just let it fly. You miss, no one cares. It's better than a shot clock violation. Absolutely. So, well, China's got some uh, work to do. They've got to figure some things out. And Venezuela, meanwhile, I'm sure they've gotten the fans back in... Uh, Places like Caracas uh, on their feet and cheering them on. They lead at halftime, 33 to 23. Great defense by Venezuela. And uh, we'll be right back before the start of the second half.
Abe. That floater no good inside Hachimura. Pounds it home. Crossover towards the basket, lovely dish as well for the Eloy Vargas throwdown. Some Dominican dynamite exploding on Germany's second round chances. And they're looking to break quickly here, laid up. Does it go in by the follow from Yusufa and Doi, who throws it down. And Senegal extend their lead to five once again. Oh, what a pass to Ingalls. That's beautiful from Australia. So slick, so smooth. Outstanding. How about this from Bogut and Ingalls? Great combination. Bit of space inside. They shifted on again and out of nowhere comes Kleber. Just what you were saying. He had four blocks against France, Maxi Kleber. And he's in the game and in with a bang. My parents gave me away, so I had no purpose in this life. Yeah. Oh. When you educate a woman, you educate a nation. It's a quote from Nelson Mandela, by the way. Zhao Ziwei with six points leading the way for China. Hit a couple of late three-pointers to kind of give them a little bit of hope in this must-win encounter uh, for each of these teams uh, to get to the second round of the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Obviously, as the host nation, uh, China perhaps feeling a little more pressure. And you get the feeling these Venezuelans have been in this position before. They've come out and they have been absolutely ruthless today. Uh, but there's still 20 minutes to go. And Zhao Jiwei and China are going to have to really uh, turn it up a notch on both ends of the floor uh, if they're going to punch their ticket to the second round and stay in the hunt for a spot in the quarterfinals. For Venezuela, well, take your pick. Who do you want to talk about? You could talk about Dwight Lewis. You could talk about Hesler Gant. You could talk about Miguel Ruiz or Michael Carrera. Uh, they have, uh, it seems like, an endless supply of uh, players that are able to go out and make big plays, make big shots. So it's 33-23 Venezuela on top of China. And I guess what we'll do is we'll pick out Dwight Lewis, who really uh, got them going. I think he had nine points in the first six minutes of the game. He's got 11 overall. He's five of eight from the floor, including making his only three. Josh, I mean, Venezuela, I'm not sure they've had a dream start, but I think that they've had the type of start in which they've sent a message. Yeah, definitely one of those games where they don't feel the moment is too big for them. They understand what's at stake. You win, you move on, you have a chance to keep advancing in the World Cup. You have a better chance to qualify for the Olympics or whatnot. You lose, you go down to the classification rounds. But they are playing very loose, playing with a lot of positive energy, playing together. And meanwhile, China, it feels like, again, everyone's tense. Right, every missed shot, heads drop, or turnover, or foul, whatever it might be. They're just worried about making mistakes, and that's tough to play that way, honestly. 
Well, Fernando Duro drawing up some last plays here, last second plays for his team as they try to become the latest team from the Americas to punch their ticket for the next round. And, uh, and really, you have to say it's been it's been the World Cup of the Americas. I mean, they have come out and really raised the eyebrows, whether it's been Argentina, whether it's been Brazil being Greece last night, whether it's been the Dominican Republic going to 2-0. I suppose really it's the uh, it's the Dominican Republics that have really raised the eyebrows, isn't it? Because they're the ones that nobody gave much of a chance, and they've won both of their games. Right, and obviously they have yet to play France, but that victory over Germany, pretty much an upset. Uh, Puerto Rico obviously also advanced in the second round, USA as well. So like you said, it's, it's the Americas. We talked about Canada uh, not really living up to their expectations, but here Venezuela looking to make up for that. And, and what's also interesting is uh, that, you know, they would have loved Venezuela to have had Gregory Echenique here, and he hasn't been able to play this summer. And I think it makes that performance all the more inspirational. But for Yao Ming here, uh, the, the China legend, the Naismith Hall of Fame center, who uh, just sitting uh, just over to our left yeah. here, you know, he's been wearing that worried look. <laughs> I, cr I crossed paths with Yao in the in the hallway just in halftime now and gave him a little pat on, on the shoulder, but I realized it's a little, a little too high to reach to the shoulder, so it's more on the, 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 the arm area. I hope you didn't think you were trying to get a selfie. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Well, second half underway, and Venezuela half possession. The sense of urgency, the Chinese intensity has got to go up. And Fang Chuo, who started the second half here, called for the foul. You just saw the lineup for Venezuela, Comenares, Miguel Ruiz, Jose Vargas, Dwight Lewis, and Hesler Guillant. Well, for China, no Guo and no Yi in the starting lineup here in this third quarter. That may raise some questions after the game. Hesler Guillant splits the D, gets in the paint, hands it off to Comenares. Guillant. Gant, let's just say, we said it last game, it's majestic how he plays, isn't it? He Boy, plays the beautiful game. Picks up his third assist, feeding Komenaris for his first two points of the night. Zhao Ji Wei. Whips it back out to Fang Shuo. That's why he's in the, in the lineup. We saw him in warm-up knocking down three after three. And that's a big time shot right now to cut the deficit to nine. And now they've got to take business, take care of business on this end. Ooh, collision. Collision indeed. And it's Zai, I think, who's going to pick up the foul. Colliding with uh, Miguel Ruiz. It's going to be a race to, yeah, you see there. Setting, uh, fighting through the pick. I think it's going to be a race to 60. Whoever can get to 60 first will win this game. Obviously, Venezuela in pole position to get there right now. It's a low scoring affair, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, well. Oh, what a screen. This time moving, Miguel Ruiz. And Fang Chuo, who comes out and drills the three-pointer, comes out now and receives the uh, foul. Well, you see he's trying to fight through that screen, and Ruiz turned just a little bit too early. Look at disbelief upon his face. I got Stephen Marbury off to our right on his feet. There's Fernando Dodo. He knows, he knows, he gets the feeling like he knows the run is coming from China. There will be difficult moments in this game for Venezuela. Well, Komenar is going for the steals. OT has it and just lays it. No, he flicked it up there. And then Wang is there to follow, and he gets the foul. So it actually worked to their advantage to miss the shot. Yeah, they pick up the foul on Lewis. And when you have two guys over 6'11", around the basket, that's going to help. Of course, Venezuela's tallest player, only 6'8". Two meters three, unless we count Anthony Perez at 6'9". But look, Wong just muscles Ruiz out of the way. 
Finishing through the contact. Two-possession game. There's China's number one fan leading uh, the cheers. At least that's what we've dubbed him. Uh, Jose Vargas now. Crowd trying to get behind China here. Lewis over to Miguel Ruiz. Money in the bank. Any, Wide open. Any basket from Ruiz is a plus. He's out there to rebound and play defense. And now gets his first bucket of the night. And Zhao Jiwei continues to make plays in that Chinese backcourt. Again, this is a guy who wasn't necessarily looking to score in the first couple games, but right now with other guys not really contributing offensively, taking it upon himself. Back-to-back and -back ones here for China. Sure does. He made those two big threes at the end of the first half, and now he comes out and scores. The three-point play. Has Leguin bounce pass to Colmenares. Over to Lewis. Lewis finds his way in. Wow. wow. Up there. That was on the way down, I thought. But anyway. The block was given. Fernando Duro shaking his head, the coach of Venezuela. Joe Chi, short now, Dwight Lewis off to the races. That would have brought the house down. Quick pass to Comenares. Well, their passing is crisp, isn't it? Gotta have good hands. Comenares thought about launching it. Now Lewis, he thinks about it, pulls up at the line. Fundamental Ball basketball. Yep. Wow. Dribbling into the open space, pulls up for the free throw. That's a practice shot for him. Now Wang Zeeland gets in. And, and, and again, you just have to appreciate the job that that, that man is doing, Ruiz. Oh, good good Ruiz. interception by Zai. Now Fang Shua and fouled by Hesler Giant. So here comes Yi Jianlan in for Zhou Qi. Again, Yi so far, just one of four from the field. Didn't knock down one three-pointer. But for a man averaging 20-plus points per game in the World Cup, it's his time. Fang again. He's brought the offense, hasn't he? And now trying to trail by just five points. Much better. Nice pass. No yeah. basket. And they can't review it. I don't know why he's asking him to review it. Referee's talking to Coach Dudo about his bench's reactions. So the foul's on the floor. See the beautiful pass there. Yeah, the foul was before the shot. Like before the catch even. Yeah. He was kind of pushing him. Well, this recent surge has given Chinese fans hope. Giant. There's Ruiz. Ruiz. Again. Giant. Hands it off, Colmenares. Oh, boy. 
Big time shot. Another assist for Guillen. Pushing the lead back up to eight. Now to Yi. Backs his way up and earns a trip to the line. Good job by Yi. Well, that entire possession, they were looking to go inside to Yi. A matter of time before he got his hands on it. And one thing I've always admired about him is his footwork. And also, you like how he's patient. But he misses that all-important free throw. Yeah, he comes in shooting 68% from the free throw line. And really, you talked about he needed to put up 20 shots tonight. And he, he hasn't, has he? Yeah, he's nowhere close to that. Zhao Jiwei leading with six, and he misses both. Again, he's on the bench to start the third quarter. Zamora for three. And Kominaris. No. Nope. Uh, it's going to be on Feng Shuo. See him trying to hold down Kominaris. They, they are just uh, incredibly active on the glass, aren't they? They're yeah. quick. They're deceptively... Well, they're just tough, right? Yeah. The block down there, but yeah, you hate to question anyone's toughness at any moment. But pound for pound, Ooh. Venezuela at each position just seems to have a bit of an advantage when it comes to the hustle plays. Fang guarding Zamora, and then the ball goes off of jo Joe Chi. Again, Guo still on the bench here. Maybe the coach think his first performance against uh, Poland was a bit of, sorry, against Cote d'Ivoire was a bit of a fluke. Maybe Cote d'Ivoire's defense. Yeah, or maybe he's not running the plays. It's difficult to say, really. So the penalty now for both teams will send Colmenares to the free throw line, where he doesn't necessarily perform too well. Yeah, this is the only good thing here for China. Still plenty of time, but you've got this. Yeah, you want to see that China can start to. First free throw all game, in fact, for Venezuela, and it comes to Colmenares. So, and he makes it. Wow, 50% free throw shooter coming in, 38% in the World Cup qualifiers for Venezuela. This three pointer looks good. That free throw looked good too. Yeah. Actually, I'm not surprised it's their first trip because it seems like every time they get the ball down there, they're either scoring or rebounding misses. That being said, it is a low scoring game. And he makes both. It's a line drive. It gives, a, gives a chance for Venezuela to set up their pressure as well. Zhao Rui takes it back out. See Yi posting up inside. Defense collapses. And Turnover. The quick hands by Zamora. So they cut it down to five, Jeff. Now it's back up to ten. Colmenares goes in and out. Quick pass, and it goes off the hands of Yi. Boy, I think he's possibly bailed out on that one. Went yeah. right through his hands. Watch. See there, Ruiz. The uh, he was pushed a little bit. Hand on the lower back. Ruiz can't quite believe it. Not sure that's what prevented him from catching it. 
Well, that would be uh, a loss that Venezuela could not afford. Ruiz, I, would, I wonder if the coach might think about putting him, sitting him down for a second. He brings in Carrera, another active player on the boards. Just like in his old uh, Gamecock days at South Carolina. Wow. Yee. Now, 0 for his last three. Fans can hardly believe it. This is both, and it's going to be Venezuela ball. Adding insult to injury, they put Venezuela on the foul line again without them having to run any kind of offense. How many rebounds does Ruiz have? So he'll head to the bench, I believe, seven rebounds. To go with his two points? Yeah, does have his three personal fouls now. So Yi heads back to the bench, struggling. Sitting on three points. So that wasn't a technical free throw, just a first of two in the yeah, bonus. Just taking their time to get up there. They don't have to be there for the first one. Did he catch a break? And he wow, both. they don't box out the point guard. And again, this, these lapses of judgment have really hurt China. And of Jose course, Vargas. Wow. usually those always fall when uh, people try to capitalize off mistakes. Did not come home to roost. Fang Shuo, possibly an answer. Zhao Rui, and Zhou Chi has it, gets it to go. Well, he's got a, a six inch and about 17, 18 centimeters on Carrera. Got to take advantage of that kind of mismatch. Although Carrera plays much taller than he is. But tell me. And one! Unbelievable. Everybody's making big plays for Venezuela, including the veteran, Luis Bethelme. What a time to score your first points of the tournament. An N1-3. Well, he's been a very important player for Venezuela over the years. And who knows, maybe he'll go on to become one in this one. Look at him. Look at the emotion, just waiting for his chance. And if you're Wong, you just can't do that. You were already late to the closeout. You weren't going to impact the shot. Now a chance for a four-point play. So two point guards in the game now for Venezuela and Vargas and Guillen. Guillen also with five assists to go with his ten points. Wang Zhelen. And surrounded, goes up, misses, and back to Venezuela, who seemed to have weathered the storm. Boy, Hesler again, so difficult to guard. Look at it, puts it up, Whoa. goes out, offensive rebound, but tell me. Tell you what, Venezuela just wants this game more right now, Jeff. Yeah, they've wanted it more the entire game. Gant drives right down. And it's almost as if they knew they could win it. It's almost as if they knew they would win it. I mean, it's uh, still got a long way to go, but they have just looked supremely confident from the get-go. Not to look too far ahead, but Russia and Argentina might have some difficulties with this Venezuela team if they are able to get to the second well, round. Well, you know, it's interesting. You know, we talked about before this tournament, uh, we weren't talking much about the America's teams, and they've really come out and they've shown, i.e. shined. So here's Li Nan trying to work some miracles over there on the Chinese bench. 
车都踩在马另外一个转弯过来有机会，他们那些没有太晚的传球，他们一边投顶，早了点那些，没有了到了屏幕演播，开始打屏幕停了，做屏幕演播，出来机会你可以投篮，做的非常好啊，非常好，可以防三分球，正确。Just the work rate. It's the work rate of Venezuela. The real, I don't know, just this sense of, uh, you know, this is our game. That's how you feel. Yeah, and you see some of the highlights. You know, there's not many ways to measure hustle necessarily in the box score, but one way is 35 rebounds to 20 yeah. in favor of Venezuela, despite being smaller at most positions. Uh, and consider the fact that China's only committed five turnovers. Yeah. Right? So they've gotten opportunities on possessions, but it just hasn't panned out. Guo comes back into the game. You know, he's got the big name. Zhao Rui just 23. He goes out. And really, they need Guo to really step up and lead this team. And, and you just wonder, I guess, from a, was it a tactical, I guess, decision not to have him in the game? China just kind of uh, standing around. Here's Guo. Puts up a three. Misses badly. And you can see the confusion there. Team not quite organized. And these fans getting restless. Still plenty of time. You're only down 13. It's the third quarter. It's just odd how they really came out against Poland. They played at a different level with a different level of intensity that we haven't seen tonight. That's for me. Over to Zamora. Now Carrera turns and scores over Zhou Chi. I think this is the biggest lead of the game. 15 points is indeed the biggest of the game for Venezuela. And it's also. Like you said, everyone who touches the ball for Venezuela seems confident. So Yi will head back to the free throw line. Well, you know, China is the host nation despite having uh, already their status as a participant in this tournament granted as the host. They did go through the qualifiers. And they experimented with different teams, as you see the uh, replay of that foul. And, you know, because, because of that, you know, the result wasn't really the most important thing. I mean, otherwise they would have really tried to build a lot, you know, a specific lineup, I, I would guess, like a lot of teams. But it was kind of like they were, they were figuring out which team they were going to use. Well, they had a red team and a blue team, yeah. apparently. And obviously this is the, the red team is the main team, but the blue team stepped up in a lot of those games and like you said there wasn't that continuity between a lot of these guys the Yi is the one kind of veteran on the team right the only player older than 30 everyone else kind of around the 25 26 year old mark yeah you, you look at venezuela and they had to go through the america's qualifiers which now clearly looks like it was much tougher than people realize well this whole and process they've been battle hardened yeah exactly it's a journey and uh, we talked about it with poland they went through it together. Yeah, yeah, they were three and four at one stage in the European qualifiers. And they haven't actually lost this year, Poland, in the competitive games, the meaningful games. Vargas over to Carrera. And offensive foul. If you're China, you're only down 13 points now, 32.3 seconds to go in this third quarter. Points have been hard to come by for the Chinese. You see the foul, Bethelme knocking down Yi. And that's the look of a man, a lot on his mind. Zhao Jiwei 
Fang and nails it. Wow. He really can shoot it, can he? Well, the second three-pointer of the half gets it back to 10. Vargas, can they get a stop? Yes, they can. They get a steal. Now they're going to try to launch one. He's got to put it up, and he doesn't get it up in time. Well, 10 minutes to go here. A point a minute. They can tie it and force overtime. It is uh, quite an interesting uh, scenario, folks. Venezuela have the hosts on the ropes. They lead it 51-41, 10 minutes remaining. So China managing to score a game-high 18 points in that third quarter, but still struggling from the field overall. Meanwhile, Venezuela just 2 of 5 from the free throw line, but it hasn't really been about the shooting for them. It's been about the little things, the hustle plays that they've made, the second chance opportunities. They're winning that category 13 to 11. And the fact that they've out-rebounded Venezuela by, uh, sorry, China by 14, all the difference right now. Thanks, Shro, doing everything he can to shoot China back into this one. But they haven't been able to get below six. Or well, I think it was at five at one point, and Venezuela pushed it right back out to ten. Here you see that one block, somewhat contentious, around the halfway point. Yeah, but 35-21 rebounding advantage, 15 offensive rebounds for Venezuela. And I remember long ago when Nick Nurse was a coach in England, and I used to live there, and uh, in a conversation he said, I asked him about rebounds, and he, and he said, rebounds are the statistic, or is the t statistic of desire. Plain and and it's... You got to get. You got to find somebody to box out. You got to go for the ball. You got to be aggressive. And when you see a guy miss a free throw, and then the guard sneak into the lane, you're not boxing out. And we saw that. But China have given themselves a chance. Well, if you told me that Feng Shuo and Zhao Jiwei would be the two leading scorers for China in this type of game, you would have said what? And, and again, Guo turns it over. Well, they certainly cannot afford to turn the ball over. China need to get something defensively. Trying to pick it up on this end. Now, Bethelme. Vargas. Drives in. Oh, tough shot. He made that shot. I think he may have been out of the lane. And he banked it in. Yeah, the running bank. Oh, good defense there from Vargas, but commits the foul. Look at this. Well, he, he jumped from the lane, and then he released it outside the lane. Yeah, the kiss off the glass. The kiss! Like Mr. Raftery. Well. Pressure here in the backcourt. Zhao Ji Wei able to get it across. That's his range. Nope. Back to Yi. And now he was fouled. Oh, boy, they would have counted that had he made it. These two teams trying to join Poland as the team that advances from Group A. The loser will play in the classification. Which will also be important games because of the uh, ramifications of the Olympics and whatnot. Bethelmi goes out. Coleman Norris comes back in. So good minutes from Bethelmi. Yi has had his struggles at the free throw line. 
takes his time and makes the first. Well, at this point, China has nothing to lose. So you'd imagine an all-out assault to come here. And once again, it's a three-guard lineup. Abdul Salam at the four. And he at the five. So they've substituted size for quickness, but can they make it? Ooh, nice move. He hits on the baseline. Coleman Arts. Zamora spins. Offensive rebound. Gratterall, another. Yeah, Yi had to go out to contest that one. And left. Gratterall, Gratterall open for the offensive rebound. And I believe that's offensive rebound number 16. See the foul inside on Abdul Salam. He has it knocked away by Guo. Shot clock winding down, though. This is where Hisler Guillen thrives. He gets it to Colmenares. Assist number six, and then a steal. Unbelievable, oh, Vargas. Boy, that would have been the final nail. Here it goes. Oh, he's wide open underneath. They missed him. He's still open. Abdul Salam just grazes the rim. I think that might have been his first shot attempt of the tournament. It was, actually. Now Komenaris oh, is right at Abdul Salam, and Yi tried to keep it alive. Komenaris, and then Vargas sneaks in there and takes it away. You know, again, you just see the hustle plays over and over again. Venezuela coming up with the 50 50 balls, making everything so tough for China. Just hasn't been Guo's night. Yet to get a field goal. Just one or two from the free throw line. Zhu Qi just six points. Yi just seven points. And the. The pressure evident on the faces of the fans as well. Well, Hesler Gant has just been terrific. Once again, here he is launching it. And quite frankly, folks, the way he's played, you have to wonder why he doesn't play in that certain league because he's been that good at this World Cup. He has been utterly sensational. Well, if you give him any type of line of sight on the rim and any space, it's going up and it's going in, it feels like. I mean, his percentages right now are unbelievable. In this game, particularly 6 of 12 in the field, 3 of 6 from 3 came into the game shooting 43% from three. And Coach Lee Nan. It's like a broken record, but we just keep talking about the play of Hesler Guillen. Look at this. Ten seconds. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Yeah, no communication on that ball screen. You see Joe Chi just backing up. He needs to step up and either hard hedge or at least show. He's hitting that shot a meter from behind the arc. I mean, he doesn't shoot his threes on the, on the three-point line, does he? Ever. Jao Rui. 
call the block. Zhao Rui inbounds it. Well, Fang was open. Now Guo back in. Again, you see the two point guard lineup for Venezuela here down the stretch. Offensive foul is a greater roll. Yeah, if you're a defender, you run hard off of that screen, initiate the contact, you will get that call sometimes. Bang. Let's hit the shot. Here he is driving, and he draws the foul as well. Fang Stroll playing the best game of his... Uh, I mean, he hardly got on the court the last two games. Tournament. That's a, that's a very nice finish. You see the emotion. He's believing. Pretty much the only one who's actually shown some, some sense of hope. You see a lot of dejection in the faces of the Chinese players right now. And then Dwight Lewis comes back in. Ten points. Now eleven, and China trail again by eleven. Or, sorry, twelve, fifty-eight, forty-six, and then Fang almost gets the steal. They call the foul. The foul on Fang. Oh, Fang, yeah, he was holding. Almost had the steal. Watch this. There you go. Venezuela already over the limit in the fourth quarter. China have now committed two fouls. Again, China so far only committing 13 fouls, but it's also a bit of a lack of aggression. And look at all that room for Lewis. Fortunate to not see it go through the hoop. Fang again. And a nice alley oop pass to Zhou Qi. Well, Fernando Dordo is sufficiently concerned. So he burns the timeout with that lead cut back to 10 points. Well, can China find the energy to make one final push here in the last six minutes? Energy and determination. Well, you really never know who's going to step up in any given game. And you talked about it. Who would have thought that we'd be talking about Zhao Jiwei or Fang Shuo as the leading scorers in this game for China? But such is the case, especially for Fang. Here's uh, Zhou Qi has now got eight points and seven rebounds. If he could come to life. The problem has been, I mean, the aggression and also the quickness of Venezuela. They just seem to be one step faster. Yeah, they're not making anything easy for China. 
Now Feng Shuo guarding Hesler Gein. He's got to watch the hand checking. Pulls him back, and now Cominares hands it off to Ruiz. Back outside to Lewis. And Yi with the rebound. Oh, slippery. Now Guo. Oh, it's Zhou Chi wide open underneath. Fang puts it up. And front back to the rim, and Cominares with the rebound. Good look there from Sh Yeah, from I think Fang. the way he's been shooting it, I, I, would, I would take that shot. And now Guo almost... Almost forcing a turnover. We'll see. Oh. No, I'm not sure after looking at that. Yeah, it's uh, too early to go to the replay. Bang on Guillen. That's a nightmare for anybody. Here he goes again. Traipses in. Hands it off to Ruiz. Just can't do anything about Esler Guillen's play right now. Unreal. And what are his assist numbers? Seven assists now to go with his 15 points. Zhao Rui. Over to Fang Shuo. Again, almost identical to the last time. Ball's looking like it's going in. Time becoming the enemy for China. Yeah, anytime it dips under five, 12 points. China just haven't really been able to force any turnovers, have they? Venezuela with just, oh, well, they do have 11 turnovers. Yeah, but it's they've also gotten so many easy baskets. Shooting 44% right now, plus 18 rebounds. Now they're chasing Guillen. They're going to be chasing him in their sleep tonight. That's what it's been like. Now Cominares drives in and misses. And finally, trying to get a rebound. Zhao Rui. Guo for three. They can't buy one. Oh, and the ball went out of bounds off Venezuela. So Jose Vargas chased it down, wasn't able to get his hands on it. Inbounds. Guo coming out. Yeah, it's just been a tough night for Guo. 0 with 7 from the field. No assist way two back turnovers. In. Oh, it seems Zhao hit some threes as well. Here he is. Takes it and makes it. Another one. Are we going to see a run, a late run by China? Well, it's under 10 for the first time in a while. The fans starting to get loud. But you, Venezuela is just not the kind of team to, to get flustered. Yeah, they just don't get rattled at all. China's hopes of advancing hanging by a thread. The kick out. Jose Vargas. And another offensive rebound. Now Guillet. And the, the ruling is Hesler Guillet had stepped out of bounds. The most telling stat right now, Jeff. Venezuela has more offensive rebounds and China has defensive rebounds. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Good call by the referee. Right on it. But you don't see that too often. 19 offensive rebounds for Venezuela, just 17 defensive rebounds for China. Doro is still coaching hard. True to his name. Now, Ji Wei fouled by Vargas, so that's free throws. Excuse me, Fang fouled by Vargas, so that stops the clock. And it puts China on the line, which, quite frankly, they'll take, especially with Fang. Watch this. Yep. That's just not a good play by Vargas. He's stopping the <laughs> He got to put his uh, hand slash fist in the chest of Fang. Boy, what pressure. And he gets first to go. First free throw of the tournament for Fang Shuo. 
Well, if he could, first uh, two, I should say. If China come back and win this game, he is a national hero the way he's played. Twelve points. Now thirteen. And it's a seven-point game. They haven't been this close in a while. Thanks, Shuo, again, the emotional leader on the court as well. Trying to lift this team up. They've got fouls to give. They can play aggressive D here. But they don't want to foul this late in the shot clock. He might want to back off just a little bit. He's been hurting with their penetration. He turns it over. But then Fang, in a rush, fumbles the ball away. And now Guillen is going to say content to run out some, some clock. Jose Vargas now. Backing oh. up Cal G. Way. And they call a charge. That's a good call. G. Way timed it perfectly. Felt the contact. Fell back hard. Jose Vargas doesn't Watch like this. It. Yeah. And the other thing is he actually kind of raised his elbow. Yeah. Well, here which, comes which, which he had a great view of the uh, Yilmaz, the referee from Turkey. And interesting, I don't think Krejic had that view. And now they ask for some moisture to be wiped up on the floor. Chinese fans, a glimmer of hope that really has not existed for most of this contest. Yao Ming looking on, pensively, hopefully, prayerfully. Ji Wei over to Zhao Rui. They've got to get touches for Fang. You feel like, and now a hold on Zamora stops the clock once again. Now Michael Carrera is going to come into the game. Look at this. So Zamora guilty of that foul. Zhou Chi. Well, the free throw misses have obviously that they're never good. Well, they've gotten there plenty more times than Venezuela. 16 more attempts at the moment. He misses both. Wow. That's not going to help. Late game performances. Well, boy, the missed free throws have been absolutely crucial the last couple of days. Fang knocked that ball away. Uh, but Vargas is able to get it back seven on the shot clock now. Vargas gets in the lane, puts it up, Ooh. and makes the shot and gets the point. What a touch. You got it from the coach. The fadeaway. Joe Chi. Good move. move. Goes up with the left hand, just could not finish. And Michael Carrera, is that going to be it for China? Two minutes remaining. The, the Zhou Chi free throws that were missed were crucial, and now he misses a layup. It's been a tough World Cup for Zhou Chi. So just the third team foul for, for China. There are two fouls away from the penalty. Vargas. Now to Colmenares. He gets inside. Gets blocked by Yi. Two point six seconds on the shot clock. It'll be Venezuela ball. They're going to review this, I believe, just yeah, to they, make sure. Yeah, they can. 
Yeah, they're going to review it, which is what they, they're entitled to do, so we'll be quiet. This is eleven ten. Everybody has a camera. Yes, that's the thing. Yes, I will, I will look for the another one. Just wait a minute. Yes, there is any other one because there is only one thing. Let's try another camera. Yes, it's good. This is again 11 cents on the behind. It is white ball. 11 is touching last one. Agree? Agree. We go. So it is indeed going to be Venezuela possession. So 2.6 seconds on yeah. the shot clock as well. So he's got to get it up quickly. Oh, the ball intercepted by Yee. Woo. Dangerous pass there. Oh, it was. On basket. All that review, and then it leads to the turnover. Here's Yee for three. Tamora with the rebound. Now Venezuela can take even more time off the clock. Up nine. Giant, who's really just been the conductor of the orchestra for this Venezuela team. So now both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. Show Chi, you see there, unable to get in front of the ball handler. And a lot of tears evident on the faces of uh, some of the Chinese fans here. Quick pass to Colmenares. Well, in 2014, we saw Spain get knocked out in the quarterfinals by France in Madrid when Spain were the hosts. In 2010, Turkey. See the spider cam angle here coming uh, from on high. We saw Turkey make it to the final. 2006, of course, Japan didn't get out of the group phase. 2002, USA got beat in the quarterfinals in Indianapolis. 1998, Greece made it to the semifinals. Yeah, the last team to win uh, on home soil the World Cup was 1970 with, at the time, Yugoslavia. That's right. It's, uh, yeah, it's not the easy thing to do. A lot of pressure, obviously, to host a tournament. And you can see some of these fans here in the back starting to make their way to the exits. Well, beat the traffic home. Well, it's a, it's a process, and uh, for China, they're going to have to try to try to rebound and come back and play in the classifications if they can't pull off a miracle here. 109 to go. Stranger things have happened. Well, for China in the classification, if it do in fact go there, in terms of the Asian teams, you know, they still have a chance to qualify for the Olympics as one of the two best Asian teams. So far, no Asian team has uh, finished in the top two of their groups. Cole Menares, 11 points, seven rebounds. One of the, uh, but really, you could you could just highlight so many Venezuelan players tonight for how well they've played. Yeah, Cole Menares, second half has been all his after a scoreless first half. Fang from the corner. And that box out by Carrera. And another foul on China. So with 57.9 seconds remaining. Well, it's been, it has been a surprise for me, honestly. You know, I felt like they didn't come out quite as strong tonight as uh, they did against Poland. But you got to give full marks to Venezuela. Pereira misses the first. 11 points to lead. Yeah, Venezuela, again, before the tournament, we talked about they felt they could win this group. So, obviously, they'll be happy to 
it potentially just, advance, but they'll, they'll face. You know, if uh, and now so Chi sets the pick on Vargas and Yi with the tip. Yeah, you saw that crackback screen there from Vargas. Rung his bell from Sochi. Sochi, rather, uh, Vargas sh shaking his head as he goes down the court, having had his bell rung. Could be a physical game sometimes. And that's usually up to his teammates to communicate that the screen is coming. Call that quarterbacking. Meanwhile, Iran leading Spain by a point with 10 minutes remaining. It's quite a shocker, isn't it? Yeah, Iran looking for their first victory. Vargas uh, makes the first, and that could be a direct competitor with uh, China in a bid to get to the Olympics. Obviously, Japan will be hosting the Olympics, so they'll be there next year. Vargas takes it back up to an 11-point lead. Bang Shuo over to Zhou Qi, hands it off to Yi. Whoa! And a nice dunk by Yi. Well, Haven't needs, seen enough of that. Exactly. Just needed much more of that. He's got nine points, eight rebounds. But again, could be doing so much more. Yeah, we talked about the first to 60. Obviously, Venezuela got there. China yet to even get there. It's hard to win a game when you can't put 60 points up on the scoreboard. Vargas makes it. Well, you know what? They started 0-1 Venezuela. Now they're going to go to 2-1, it appears. And some of the Chinese players, Wang Zeeland, finding this uh, difficult to take on home soil. Now, all of a sudden, Gregory Vargas in double figures with 10. So his best game coming here in the second half. Gets the rebound and the leak out. Guillen wide open. And now to Zamora. And they are going to advance, folks. Venezuela up 70 to 57 as the final seconds tick off the clock. Zhao Rui lays it back up and in. And I think Venezuela will not have to do much. Yep, they've called the foul. You see the celebrations on the Venezuelan bench. Well, th this has been a, a World Cup of surprises, and I would not. Remember, this team lost its opener to Poland, but they have come back strong, especially tonight. And they've shown us enough to, for us to know that they are going to be dangerous opposition for both Russia and Argentina. I would not put it past this Venezuela team from advancing. Honestly. Again, they'll be looking forward to that matchup with Argentina. You have to imagine. Well, the way just they play like, tonight, I think they'll look forward to a game with anybody. Just like that Poland-Russia matchup will be quite exciting. Oh, wow. Did he mean to do that? Well, it is stunned around us. And the great Chinese fan, obviously, not what he envisioned. And Vargas uh, banks he, both free he, throws. He must have meant it. Definitely. Zhao Jiwei puts up the last shot, and the misery now is complete. And the celebrations, meanwhile, underway for Venezuela. The disappointment for China. There's no doubt. And uh, Venezuela win it 72 to 59. You got to be happy for them. They advance. Well, you know, we, we just talked about it, and we'll talk about it again as uh, these players uh, shake hands. I mean, it, you know, it was a basketball lesson tonight served up by Venezuela. And they've been progressively getting better and better, really, for the last five years. Started with that FIBA America triumph in 2015, and a lot of their, their guys played together in Venezuela with Guaros. And uh, I think it's evident, you know, they've been through the difficult America's Qualifiers campaign. 
And as China trudge off the floor, Venezuela uh, stay to celebrate and uh, s signal the fans that came to support them, but also to thank the Chinese fans. It's been a, it didn't look like this was going to be the result after opening day, did it? Because when you fall into that 0-1 hole, it is awfully difficult. Well, we show you the stats there, but yeah, you're right. China obviously got a, you know, relatively easy win by certain standards over Cote d'Ivoire. Venezuela, a tough loss against Poland. But since then, it's been the complete opposite. Venezuela back-to-back -back victories, China back-to-back -back losses. And you see they're plus 21 on the rebounds, including doubling up the offensive rebound number. Just absolutely incredible performance and desire shown by these Venezuelans. They were led in scoring once again. Mahesler Guillent, Feng Shuo, his 13 points, not enough. The two brothers there embracing such love on this team. And of course, when your captain has his little brother by his side, you can only imagine the togetherness that this team has in that locker room. You know, it didn't matter if it was hitting the open jump shots, if it was hitting the runners like this, the tough shots. If they were missing the shots, they were rebounding the misses. Right. And, and you know, time and time again, they got second and third opportunities. Uh, and they really gave China nothing. You know, you, you, how many shots did Yi Yi end up with in the end? So Yi took was 3 of 7 from the field for 11 points, 4 of 8 from the free throw line. And you mentioned the rebounds. Again, any time that you have more offensive rebounds and the other team has defensive rebounds, yeah. right, the percentage of rebounds available in your favor, it's, I mean, you can't win a game that way if you're China. So phenomenal performance. China obviously still has a couple of games to play, a lot of work to do. You know, you'd expect the fans to continue to support them as they venture off to the next city. I believe they'll be in, I'm not sure if it's uh, Guangzhou. 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 Yeah. So, so basically, uh, so China are going to Guangzhou with Nigeria and Korea, and Venezuela will go to Foshan for Argentina and Russia, as well as uh, they've already played Poland, but Poland will also be there. Argentina right now enjoying a double-digit lead on Russia as that quarter gets, sorry, as that game nears the fourth quarter. Meanwhile, from here in Beijing, it's been, it's been really fun being able to watch China at home compete in front of their hometown fans, home country fans, and they just came up short. Well, you know, with Venezuela, let's talk about the good. You know, it's, disappoint it's disappointing, obviously, to see the host go out. And they just weren't quite at the races. They lost the tough game, obviously, to Poland in overtime. But you have to celebrate the togetherness that this Venezuela team clearly has. And especially coming here without such an influential player as Gregory Echenique, their, you know, their star center. That was a huge absence for them. Yeah, but and yet they've overcome the adversity to have a memorable World Cup already. Yep, his six Guaros teammates have kind of made up for his, uh, you know, for him not being here. Meanwhile, Venezuela and these fans were treated to such a show. So anyway, uh, Poland, uh, because they ran the table, they finished top of Group A. It'll, you know, Venezuela now two and one, China one and two, and Cote d'Ivoire 0 oh and three after today's results. Poland winning 80 to 63 over Cote d'Ivoire and Venezuela 72 to 59 over China. So, depending on the you know who wins and loses in the next which games, uh, you would assume that Venezuela will have to win twice in the next round to progress, and uh, Poland once. But you know again, we just have to wait and see how the group shapes up. But it's been a a whale of a time here in Beijing, and we'll stay here for the classification games and then set off. Uh, for the quarterfinals in Dong Juan. A lot more basketball coming your way. Thanks for watching, folks.